傻妹啊，没有呀。Hey everyone, welcome to the review. Here's my review for the movie Dragon Ball Super Brawly. Yes, Brawly. Um, let's just get right into this right away and stuff. Uh, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. Everyone knows I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. I've talked about uh, some of the shows. I've, I think I reviewed Resurrection F back when the first year I started this channel. Uh, I did my ranking, I, ranking of like the seasons and my favorite uh, movies of the Dragon Ball Z franchise and stuff. Like I. I love Dragon Ball Z. I, I grew up with Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z and stuff. Even GT, as shitty as GT is, I grew up with all that shit. And yeah, I fucking love it. I, I love it. I love Dragon Ball Super, and the, like I love the whole Goku Black, and that's like my favorite storyline in the new Dragon Ball Super and stuff, and I just, I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan. I love it, and the movies were really good. Like, these new Dragon Ball movies we've gotten in the past couple years, like, Battle of Gods was pretty good, uh, Resurrection F wasn't as good, but still it was pretty decent and stuff, and I kind of find the movies relatively pointless because they tie those movies in the Dragon Ball Super show, so you might as well just watch the show Dragon Ball Super because the movies are basically just tied into the show, and the show explains a lot more and stuff, so I'd just rather, I'd rather recommend the show than actually watching those two films, but this movie Dragon Ball Super Brawly is after the TV show, because Dragon Ball Super is now done, this is after the show and stuff, and basically, um, the story of this movie is basically Frieza wants to, you know, take over Earth and stuff, he wants to finally put an end to Goku and Vegeta and stuff, so pretty much he finds, like, this Saiyan named Brawly and stuff, who grew up in this, like, desolate planet and stuff, because him and his father basically, uh, got exiled from Planet Vegeta and stuff, because... King Vegeta thought Brawly, when he was a baby, he was too unstable, he has power, too much power, and it'll make him go absolutely insane, he, you can't control his power and stuff, so he basically exiled them and stuff, and they've been exiled from Planet Vegeta for a very long time, and Frieza wants to use Brawly to basically take out Goku and Vegeta and stuff, and yeah, also that's pretty much the gist of the story, but the whole first act of the movie, actually, it's all about Planet Vegeta. It's about King Vegeta and him serving Frieza and him exiling Brawly and his father. There's also a story of Bardock. He has Goku's father basically arriving on Planet Vegeta and stuff and getting his son Kakarot, Goku, but Kakarot, out of the Planet Vegeta because he knows something is up and he thinks Frieza is going to destroy the entire Saiyan race, which he's pretty spot on about. And I gotta say, the first act of this movie is fucking amazing. Like, it's so Good. I love the first act of this movie. And then exploring P Planet Vegeta and stuff. That, that's something I've always wanted them to explore more. Is Planet Vegeta and King Vegeta and stuff. And all that was great. And they kind of changed a little of the Bardock story. Because if you've seen the Bardock movie. They changed little snippets here and there. But it changes for the good. They, they really make you sympathize with Bardock and his wife and stuff. And when they have to say goodbye to Goku. It is heart wrenching. Just heart wrenching to watch. And... It's just so good, and I love the first act. And also, I really love Brawly in this movie. Um, I am not a Brawly fan. I'm just saying right now, I think Brawly is the most overrated Dragon Ball Z character. I never understood why people loved Brawly. Uh, I always thought the best villains in Dragon Ball Z was Sal and Frieza. They are the best villains. They are the more intimidating villains. They are actually menacing. Frieza is an utter psychopath, and he shows it in this movie and stuff, and... They're just, they're, they're more interesting to me, and I never found Brawly interesting. Brawly was always just this big buff dude, and that's kind of it. His motivation in the Brawly movies, the previous ones, was so stupid. He basically, Goku made Brawly cry as a kid, and that's why he hates him. That's like so fucking stupid stuff, and I hated that. Those are in the old Brawly movies, and I, I never liked that, and I never really liked any of the Brawly films. And yeah, I, just, I never understood why people loved Brawly. But they changed the whole story, Brawly. And they make him interesting. They make him sympathetic. Like, he has this power, but he doesn't want to use his power and stuff. Like, all he wants is a family and someone to love him and actually have friends and stuff. The only friend he makes on this planet, like, it's, a, it's like a monster. And his dad kills the monster. Like, it's just, it's heart-wrenching and stuff. And basically, it's his dad doing all these bad things to him and forcing him to fight he doesn't want to fight and stuff. It's just, it's kind of heartbreaking to watch. And 
It shows you a lot of humanity into Brawly and makes you really sympathize and really enjoy Brawly. I thought Brawly was such a great character in this movie. I also loved Frieza. Frieza is just an intimidating fucker and he's such a manipulative asshole and stuff and the shit he does in this movie is just like that's such a Frieza thing to do. But of course, like it doesn't take away from the stars. There's Goku and Vegeta who are awesome. I love Goku and Vegeta. Vegeta's my favorite character and stuff. Got the Funko Pops of both of them. I love both these characters. And the way they work off each other in this movie is super funny because Goku's kind of an idiot. He is an idiot, but he's lovable and he's a great fighter. Vegeta's more of a proud warrior and stuff, and he has a <laughs> he has a temper about him and stuff. And yeah, I loved Beerus and Whis, and I, I I loved everything. I loved everyone in this movie and stuff, and. I love that there's like, they bring in fusion in this movie, all of it's great, and most importantly, the action. The action is so badass. The entire fight sequence with Brawly, Goku, fighting Brawly, Vegeta, fighting Brawly, the ending fight with Brawly and stuff, even Frieza I guess to fight Brawly and stuff, all of that is fucking great. It's so cool, and seeing it on the big screen looks so awesome, it looks amazing. And the animation is all hand-drawn animation, they, they blend a little CG here and there, but it's all hand-drawn animation, and it looks amazing. It looks so good. I absolutely love this movie. I really did. I, I thought it's actually... I think it's one of the best, the best Dragon Ball Z movies. I, I love the Bardock movie, and I love uh, Future Trunks' movie about, you know, his planet and dying and stuff. The, those are some of my favorite Dragon Ball Z movies. This might, this might very well be my favorite now, because Battle of Gods and Resurrection F are good movies, but... I kind of find them pointless because they're in Dragon Ball Super. The, this is a way better movie than both those films, and I loved it. Like, I think if you're a Dragon Ball fan, Dragon Ball Z fan, Dragon Ball Super fan, even a GT fan, I think you'll love everything about this movie. This gives you everything that you want. It gives you great characters, great comedy. There are so many laugh-out-loud hilarious moments in this film, and all those characters you know and love, they, they, they're in it, and they, they, give, oh, they, they give a great story. The first act alone is almost makes it amazing, and just, I love it. I love the action, the visuals, the animation, everything about it, I loved it, and I, I had zero issues with it. It's not a movie for non-Dragon Ball fans. Like, some people have been saying, like, oh, you could go into this movie without being a Dragon Ball fan. No. I strongly disagree. I think if you went into this movie and you've never seen a Dragon Ball show or a Dragon Ball movie, you will be completely lost. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, I guess, maybe a negative on it that it's only for Dragon Ball fans. But, yeah, I think Dragon Ball fans will love it. But if you're not a Dragon Ball fan, I think you'll still find it. It's a good movie, but you need to know the show to watch the movie. So, on that regard, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. But because I'm a Dragon Ball fan, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because I fucking loved every second of it. And yeah, it's just amazing. I love it. I'm a Dragon Ball fan and I got a terrific Dragon Ball movie. So that was my review for the movie Dragon Ball Super Brawly. So in the comments section below, please tell me who is your favorite Dragon Ball character of all time. Mine is Vegeta. Vegeta will always be my favorite. The Prince of Little Sands. Yes. But yeah, who is your favorite character in all the Dragon Ball series, movies? Who is your favorite? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.